Hey guys, it's Mike Martin. I have another orange video for you. This week we are doing the orange CR120, which is part of the Crush Pro series. There's two amps in this series, the CR120 head and the CR120 combo. It's a 212 combo. Um, the amp features are going to be exactly identical on the amp, except for the combo. Obviously it has two speakers, uh, they're Voice of the World speakers, but uh, all the other features are going to be the same. So we're just going through the head for today's purposes. All right, so basically on the intro music, I just tried to play a little bit of the clean channel and a bit of the dirty channel so that you could get a sense of just how really musical and warm it is and show off a bit of the reverb. To me, that's the, the sweet feature on this amp. Um, besides being a really killer uh, solid state amp, uh, the reverb is a really nice feature. So anyway, let's get into the stuff. Um, the Crush series is entirely solid state, so there's no valves at all in here. Um, Clean Channel has two stages of gain. I believe the Dirty Channel has three or four stages of gain. I need to look up on that, but anyway. Um, plus you have digital reverb, three types, spring, hall, and uh, plate. Um, foot switchable for the channels. Reverb is foot switchable on and off. Um, and then you have uh, your basic controls on the channels. Um, clean Channel, you've got volume, and then bass and treble control. Your Dirty Channel, you've got a pre-gain, bass, middle, and treble, and a uh, channel volume. Uh, you have a toggle switch here for the three types of reverb, um, amount of reverb, and then a master volume. So the cool thing on this amp um, is they really went out of their way to, uh, to uh, make the, the clean channel super clean, but also if you turn it up, you can get it to break up a bit. So before I do that, let me show you a little bit of the reverb because I think it really shines on the, uh, on the clean channel. So here's no reverb, it's completely dry. I've got it on the spring at the moment. We'll get it about, about halfway so you can hear that. It's got a nice decay, but it's got that metallic sort of early reflection. Uh, the hall is my favorite of the three. It just has a nice, nice decay that I like. They, they EQ'd it very nicely. Um, and then you have a plate reverb, which is a much shorter reflection. And we'll go backwards from here. I'll turn it all the way up so you can hear how much reverb you have. And pretty much the level control is all that you have on this. Back to the hall, all the way up. And then your spring reverb. I think I'm somewhere around halfway for me. I'm not a huge reverb guy. This seems to be the most back on the hall because that was my favorite.
turn that off for a minute, and then we're going to go back to the uh, the clean channel. And I've got that just south, maybe about 11 o'clock, and it's bone dry, um, not breaking it up at all halfway, not really clipping at all. You start getting up around 2, 3 o'clock, and it does start breaking up a little bit on you. If you turn it all the way up and just max it, you will get a little, little crunch out of it. And I think that's a nice feature to have. A lot of solid state amps on the clean channel, they just really focus on it being pristine and not very, not very valve amp like. Um, not that this is much really of an emulation, but I, I think that's a nice feature. And it's a great place to jump over to the, uh, the dirty channel. And I've got it set to sound about like it did coming off of the clean channel. Here's a clean channel. Dirty channel. You have a little more emo, e, uh, EQ control, so you can bring in a bit more mids and all that stuff. Um, and it will get cleaner from there. And that's a dirty channel. Bring it up about halfway. crunchy kind of classic rock sound very orange you know it, it definitely has that that thing going on um let's get a little bit okay, back off as the gain goes up maybe pull a little of the bass out distortion that they've, they've got going on here and then let's just dime it just because we should <laughs> A solid state amp that's very it's very tubey to me without it being a modeling amp or a, a an emulator of any kind um and i think it's nice as well with the reverb again go back to the hall reverb and just uh <laughs> speaking voice. It's not brittle like, to me, a lot of solid state amps can be. It's got a nice singy thing. articulate when you're picking melodies and that it's sensitive it's to the dynamics of your picking to me that's a very important kind of thing so 
So anyway, there you have it. The CR120 from Orange. Check out more information at orangeamps.com. My name is Mike. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And please subscribe to the channel. And we will see you on another video soon. Ish.